So let's have a little journey around this USB together because I think that's always a good place to start. So the USB has gone inside of my scanning cup. It doesn't matter which model you have, it will work on all of them because they're always tested on a CM300 or a CM600 so we know that everything opens and that the path counts correct. So we're going to retrieve data and into the USB and this is what opens up. So you've got beautiful properly designed rice paper style backing papers on here and you've got a hundred of them which is super super exciting. So if I go into the backing papers you've got your gradient papers and you've got vintage floral papers. So your gradient papers are exactly that, they're like an ombre so they go from light to dark. So if you want to cut a doily out of one of those you will get that almost like an ink blended look if you like. So we've put two different styles of that on there. They won't open on your scan and cut as ever. You'll need to pop those into your computer, open it up, choose which one you want and print it off or not. They're kind of a extra bonus. They're not featured in the booklet. That's up to you to use your creativity and enjoy them in whichever way you want to. So that's our backing papers. Then we go into our Canvas workspace files and I will do this at the end when I take you into Canvas. So you've got bespoke patterns so that's where you find all those patterns that we've talked about in the booklet, your floral section, your geometric, your lace and your romantic. So when you open up those, all your 10 patterns will open up and then you'll choose from your booklet which one you want. So say you wanted pattern seven on the floral bespoke, you look in there, you have floral bespoke patterns, number seven, you open up floral, you click on number seven. Now there, one, two, three, four, five, six. When you write a title, it can't fit all the title on the screen. But if I scroll down and go into that one now, that will be number seven, okay? And some of them will take a little while to open because they are super, super, super detailed, but they have all been tested. So we know they all work. Okay, so that's how that bit works. So we'll come out of here that's your bespoke patterns. Then you also have your pattern blanks. Now these are the shapes. So if we go into circles, for example, this gives you the panels that you can punch that pattern into in canvas. So let's say that you wanted to do, we want to do circle doily five, but instead of having that pattern, we want to put that pattern into it. The circles here, these panels, are the ones that are on the scan and cut screen. So you'll take those in and I'm going to show you all this because there's a, a little bit of a easy way to do it. So you've got that and you can punch that pattern into that panel and put it in that doily. So it's super, super simple. Okay. And all these are the same size on all the doilies. So if you're going to do the larger doily, all three panels will fit in. If you're just going to do a medium doily, you'll use the middle and the small one. And if you're just going to do the small doily, you'll just use the small one. And then you can scale up and down from that. So it's a little bit different to the way we've done it before, which is why I wanted to film this education. So those are your canvas workspace files. Next, you've got your card blanks. So you've got your easel cards, large, medium and small. And then you've got your tent fold cards again in large, medium and small and they work perfectly with the doilies, okay? So that's our card blanks and I'm going to go into each one of these in more detail so don't worry that I'm whizzing through it. Now you have your doilies, so these are the pre-designed, pre-punched doilies that the team have put together for you. So if we go into circle and let's go into circle doily one for example, You've got your card shapes in there as well. You've got your best wishes sentiment circle. You've then got your decorative edge and then you've got your doily. And again, we'll go through this in more detail, but this is what's within your doily folder. And I'm gonna take one doily and I'm gonna go through each part of that folder to explain what it does and how you use it. So that's your doily section. So we keep going up till we come back to our main menu. We've then got our patterned panels. So with the circles, 
these are your pattern panels. So these are the bits that cut into your cardstock. So if you wanted, for example, to, instead of cutting that into card, you wanted to, with, that, with the doily edge, you just wanted to use that by itself, you could literally put that maybe in a square or a plain circle and punch that in. So you're just using that element as well. So we've tried to put everything that you need in every category rather than you flipping backwards and forwards. So instead of you having to remove the outside edges just to get that bit, we've put it on. So some of the files will be duplicated, which is why I won't go on air and go, you've got 1,647 SVG files, because a file could be just a little circle bit, or it could just be an outside edge. And I want you to see it as 40 doilies, 40 patterns, thousands and thousands of options. So these are what the, what the designers have used within the doily that they've designed in the booklet, but you can use those in different ways as well. Okay, so those are your patterned panels. And then, last but by no means least, we have your sentiment frames. So although these are also within the doily, we've put them on separately. So if I go into circle, for example, and we're going to best wishes, you can then use that as it is, or you can use it with the doily or not, whichever you prefer. You might just want to use that and put flowers around on the sides of it to build it up. So we've given you that versatility within the USB as well, which is great. Right, so, that kind of goes through the categories. We're now going to go through them one at a time so that I can explain exactly how you use them and exactly what they do.